Yo, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I got my client right here. Y'all already know. This is a little after school haircut. But for this video, I'm gonna show you guys my 2023 barber setup. Y'all already know it's a little dirty after the haircut. We gotta sweep over, but make the station look decent. All right, you guys. This is my barber setup. I just kind of turn off that light for the lighting. I did buy some extra light stands. Peep these two out. And another extra light. Shout out to my boss. Snapped on that. We also mounted my ring lights up there. And up there. Peep those out. And um, shout out to my boss again. Helped me out with, to mount these up. Right next to the ring light. Because I don't know if you guys peeped back then. The ring light used to be right there. But now that I ordered these. Now we move them to the side. Uh, me cutting hair right there. And then my logo. And then... The guy that made my logo, shout out to my guy. You already know who you are. Sticking with the illusion cape, money cape. Can never go wrong with that. Here we got like some head washers for whenever like the client's hair is too dirty or like whenever you do a big transformation and you want to keep the, all the hair flat down. So again with my mat. I currently changed it to the black one. Recently just got it for my birthday. Shout out to my girlfriend. She snapped on this birthday gift. It replaced my red one because I've been fucking with color black recently. As you guys can see, these are some new shavers that I just got myself. Uh, these are the FX3 shavers. I just like how quick they balled up and they're pretty light. These are way faster than the ones I had, which were these. And I had these about for two years. Check these out. Also got these trimmer, dual battery snap FX. You already know, I wanna get a replacement cover. Get the red one again because the font or the lettering has uh, faded away throughout time. And also the lever gold, I wanna replace that. But you already know, I can't go wrong with my number one gamma. And right here, I got my Rebels. You already know. I can. I always fuck with the lever clicking and shit. The lever clicking has always been my style in a way. But yeah, we got that there. And this is actually not mine. This is actually my homie Gloves. Rest in peace to my boy right there. But, so in the meanwhile, I started using his Gammas. And I actually like, like, like how his lever play is. It has no clicking. But I could really lever play and get rid of many lines with these. You already know my red babyless trimmers. These got in loud over time, so that's why I had to replace them with those. Check these out. Compared to like something like this, you know, someone more calm. But as you guys can peep, the blade is kind of broken. You guys can see a lot of teeth are missing throughout the trimmer. We already know from my first drawer, this is what I currently have. My guards, my uh, I use a Turkish blade. I currently have a better hold and grip to it when I do my straight blades and I have this so for whenever I nick somebody or make them bleed just a quick powder quick apply it you shake it put it in your finger apply it to the cut and it should make the cut stop pretty sure you guys seen this rhino comb around everywhere to match the C cups and you know measure the lineups and all that how to get myself this this was like 30 bucks tax for a comb and you already know I could you can never go wrong with the regular comb I uh, also got the styling comb I need to use and clip over comb comb, you know, some brushes. I also use this for enhancements like the beard dyes or anything like anything that has to do with the actual dye dye. Over here, I, I don't mainly use this, but I just have it here. I have this uh, light skin tone pencil for all my other custies. This is the one I use. These are my shears. I still have the same ones. And in this drawer, I got for the trimmers, I got the Babyliss Low Pros. I also got the babyless uh, regular gold ones like that, but I have it's like this one, but I just swapped the gold FX blade, and I also got these back. So yeah, I haven't found these in a while, but they sound goofy and they pull hair, so I just have them here. And yeah, this is my first drawer, and let's go up here. This is my business cards for like any enhancements and all that. My compressor, you already know. My mirror. Your Hood Heroes and 245. And up here, I mainly got my level three barberside jar. And over here, I got some blades, shave stick, and Gorilla Slick that I don't use, but this is really good. And also uh, some um, semi-permanent Kiss Express. So um, you can never go wrong with hand sanitizers. Lent roller. I also got my cool care back here. My uh, aftershave, my blade dispensers, I got my personal uh, own enhancements for the paint that I created. I got my neck duster right here. The same top powder I used. And some hair clips up in there. And I got my light up in there. So I'm about to turn this one on. Y'all about to see how this one works. Y'all already know how the deal is. 
I got my stands right here and also my tripod. Here are some extra goodies. Y'all already know. Selling soon. I got my other light, my apron right here. This is my blow dryer. This is currently my boy's glows. He passed away, he would let me uh, borrow the blow dryer. So meanwhile, I'm still using my boys. You know, water, regular. And we're gonna go in the second drawer. We got my gloves right here. Also got pomade paste right here. Make sure here, more textured in a way. And I used to use these, but I ran out of these. Oh, curling for my froze. I, I still got my FX3s. I don't really use them anymore. The blades are too sharp and they cut. I don't use the Uno shaver, but I have it. I got my slim lines for little kids, but I rarely use it. Pencils right here and stuff. Some more business cards in case I run out. And some extra stuff right here. You already know. This is for the power mat. I'm planning on ordering some more over here. Some more power mats. And so it can go along. And you know, make that bitch raw. Also got my neck shirts right here. I don't know why I don't put them in here. It's more to dispense for the third drawer. You already know. Curly moves. These are for my waivers. Some hairspray right here. Alcohol for like 70%. This is a sh oil sheen. Some more aftershaves over here. You already know, gotta stock up. And I got 245 shaving gel, I don't really use. We got Topic, I don't really like this one personally. And this is my waivers for the brush for whenever I use this and uh, try to make the hair lay flat down. Spritzes around here. I really wanna order uh, another bottle and also another styling foam. I really fuck with their brand. The last drawer is more like a personal drawer. I just mainly got FX3 boxes. These are for like the the lights to put them over and take raw cameras. Y'all gonna stay tuned and see what I'm talking about. We just got Gorilla Tape over here, some hangers. Pretty much my setup right for now. I remember when I didn't have none of this stuff. This is basically my setup. Take a look. Let me know if you guys wanna see the rest of the barbershop setup. I'll agree with the guys and tell them if they wanna do it for a video and show you guys their setup. And yeah, this is my setup, A Money Blend. Hope y'all enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more content. I'm trying to post more consistently. And stay tuned for another haircut tutorial I got, I got coming you guys' way. If not, another vlog. Either or. Appreciate you guys for getting my previous video. A thousand views in less than 24 hours. That's the reason why I got up and decided to do this video. I appreciate all the support I've been low-key getting. Thank you guys for coming this far and supporting me. It's save money. And I'm out. Peace.